Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around, let's dive in. Uh, as you already know, I've, I'm finally in Season TI. Um, it's been a one day and uh, I'm pretty excited to share the content which we have uh, in the game. And as always, uh, every single season we are having uh, changed the policies there are some additional policies which are being added and also the path uh, which we need to follow in order to get there is changed uh, that's why uh, like almost every single season i'm gonna take a close look at the policies and i will say my view about them and how i will progress through the tree of the policies first of all target tactics peacekeeping damage a great uh, policy at the start of the season because you are farming darklings in order to get more experience on your heroes because they are being reset and for that you're gonna go with war studies hero xp bonus nice policy uh, you will be able to uh, level up your heroes more easily also it's in percentages the new policy which is a spread of the world the prestige gained in percentages maximum to 20 percent uh, since we are having uh, additional policies in the game, it will be much better to be able to generate more prestige throughout playing the game, which I honestly like really much, and it's a great addition to the game. Uh, the second new policy is um, a Wellspring of Rigor, a stamina limit bonus uh, up to 50. It's especially good for a pay to win players because whenever there is wars, like a uh, couple of hours, uh, it occasionally happens that your heroes are out of stamina and you are not able to impact the battlefield as much as you wanted. That's why I think this new policy is amazing and I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, the next one is military expansion, um, one of the most uh, important and uh, better policies in this uh, tree, which is simply giving us legion capacity in percentages. Uh, maximum is 5%. Uh, like this season and past season is like only time we had military expansion in percentages before it was purely numbers. And honestly, I like percentages way more. The medical stockpiles is a normal policy which we had uh, daily elixir production uh, medic recruitment uh, daily resource healing in this case we can um, like research both of them to the maximum level which is great um, resource healing uh, like normal uh, policy which we already had in like in the past uh, also gem prospecting uh, gem gathering uh, like for example unlocks gathering of gem mines uh, which which is great uh, actually you can gather 1000 gem per week and if you are free to play player like me uh, gathering gem is an important aspect of the game the turrets is back uh, fire ice and uh, poison turret uh, last season i had poison turret which i was not happy uh, in this season i went to the fire turret because simply the, it's dealing more damage than any other any of this ice or poison one the new edition again, Epocracy uh, upgrade, elixir capacity limit, like whenever you, you have full elixir in your hospital, you will have a chance to have more, 400% more. Uh, elixir production speed, normal one, which we had already in the past. And here, uh, stockpile days, like same for a resource healing and daily resource healing. In my opinion, I went for elixir production speed. Uh, honestly, as much elixirs I can generate, it's better for me as a free-to-play player. I think uh, Epocracy upgrade will be much better for a uh, tier 5 and pay to win players. Augmented defense, uh, normal uh, policy which we had last season, nothing special. And here we have a turret upgrade, solid armor, uh, damage taken from turrets uh, in percentages minus, and turret attack. Uh, I think solid armor is a new policy, defensive pushback we had in the past season. So, like, depending on your playstyle, whichever you want to choose, it will be fine. Um, I'm gonna choose turret attack because uh, I like to deal as much damage as possible uh, to the enemies. Here we have um, resource scissor and counter defense merits, uh, turret destruction merits in percentages and turret destruction resources in percentages, same, depending on your gameplay, uh, like both of them are uh, good choices. After that we're gonna have another 
resource healing uh, to uh, like cost in minus in percentages maximum to uh, minus 15 percent and here is like uh, old uh, policies which we had last season gold healing wood healing or healing and mana healing which i would not recommend to investing too much you can uh, upgrade them in the like in the end of the season whenever you have already upgraded your important policies now the most important change which we have not had in the past uh, infantry drills cavalry drills marksman drills and magic drills what that does like every each of them for every each legion type increasing damage dealt in percentages maximum to 10 percent uh, great addition i like it a lot like policies needed something more besides um, like um, legion capacity bonus like military expansion and uh, hospital policies we needed something like this and i'm really really happy about this addition uh, it it gives a lot more impact of policies uh, in the game than it was before after that like depending on your uh, main heroes which play style you play currently i'm a marksman main and of course i'm gonna max out uh, marksman drills but most of the players are magic uh, unit mains and you would go for a magic drills that's not a problem uh, military expansion 2 um, one of the most important policies in this section 20 percent more um, legion capacity amazing policy which should be here every time we're gonna uh, see in the new season administrative excellence it gives you more warrants to capture more pets it's for a late game uh, research i wouldn't recommend to go fully on this uh, medical stockpiles and medic recruitment i would 100 percent go for a daily elixir production uh 5, 000, and its maximum is uh, like hundred thousand like it's pretty obvious choice choice why uh, especially if you are a free-to-play player you need to save up your uh, resources for other things because later you are going to the game uh, every single upgrade every single building construction costs a lot uh, that's why you need to uh, choose where to spend your resources in the future uh, after that we got a new uh, policy which is hypocrisy upgrade 2 and healthcare reforms honestly for the first one i chose the elixir production speed uh, but here uh, i think like 400 like 800 uh, percent is a lot i i should uh, think about it maybe i will uh, choose a procuracy upgrade too but in general if you are not sure about uh, this policy you can always go for a healthcare reform too uh, simply you are getting more elixir production speed which is never a bad idea especially if you are active player and you would like to participate in wars this is a great policy to have in general here uh, medical administration to med medical seminaries to daily resource healing and stockpile deals uh, that's for the people who have a lot of resources especially pay to win players so uh, simply because they are using their resources to heal their troops most of the time that's why uh, if you are a free-to-play player always go for a free elixir production and the production speed rather than just using uh, your resources to heal your troops whenever they are in hospital the newest edition uh, cursed sword which is pretty awkward your legion deals five percent more damage but when fighting other lords 2% of your severely wounded units will die immediately. Um, I'm not sure how good it is for free-to-play players because it's pretty rough for us to get more and more troops in our legions and in general uh, especially uh, we are already in late game uh, in this game and a lot of players have tier 5 units and we have a lot of pay to win players imagine fighting against tier 5 uh, legion uh, of course they will destroy you and not even like your hospital will be full 2% of your severely wounded units will die immediately so like uh, until you will upgrade these cursed swords think wisely is it really worth it i'm not sure if i will upgrade this one it will be dependent on the season how it will progress if i will be winning the season my alliance or my allies uh, i might upgrade this one but if i'm losing and every time i'm uh, fighting against enemies and uh, like uh, they are more tier 5 players as my enemies i'm not sure it, if it's really worth it yeah five percent more damage is great but uh, like especially free-to-play players we really care about our troops 
that's why we try our maximum to avoid our town to get burned and uh, like just playing and simply fighting and after that your units are dying immediately that's not good uh, especially for free to play players that's why uh, until you will unlock these cursed swords i would suggest to think twice or 10 times because you don't want to get your troops dead by just fighting that was the beauty of call of dragons uh, you were fighting and the fighting combat gameplay is one of the best which i have ever seen in kingdom builder games and also it was impossible to make your troops dying uh, while fighting uh, after cursed sword uh, cursed swords that's why the name is cursed uh, we're gonna have 2% uh, of our severely wounded units die. Uh, so, until you're gonna upgrade this, think uh, more how your season is going, how your alliance is progressing, and how in general you want to play uh, in the game. Other than that, uh, like we mentioned a couple of new policies which I like a lot. I like Thread of the Ward, I like Wellspring of Vigor. I even like Hypocrisy Upgrade, which is pretty great. I love new uh, drills, uh, which gonna give our legions more and more power. So I, I'm pretty happy about the policies in Season TI. I think it's the best one which I have ever seen in Call of Dragons. Uh, that's why don't look at the policies like an just ordinary feature of the game. It is really, really important. Uh, try to unlock as fast as possible. It's pretty easy. Game itself tells you what to up upgrade next. So it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this was my view about new policies uh, and the new uh, way of uh, progressing in the policy tree. Um, share your opinion. Tell me if you like it or not. Maybe you don't like some of the aspects. Maybe you love it like me. And in general, if you like the content I'm trying to make, uh, press like, subscribe, share. That always go gives me more and more motivation to continue making more videos. I'm always positive because I play games for fun. I, I try my best to don't exclude myself in dramas or some negative thoughts uh, this game is made for fun and i'm trying to get as much fun as possible thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying the content and i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye